I'm going to open it up to all, all of you really quickly, but first I would like you to let us know, what was the inspiration for actually making the film? How did that come to be? Sure. So uh, our director, Susan O'Brien, who couldn't be here tonight, um, she came across the, the chorus in New York City. They were kind of really becoming famous at, at really all the protests um, happening, um, starting with the Women's March and then throughout 2016, 2017. Obviously, those were very uh, crazy years, but now they seem quaint <laughs> given where we're at. <laughs> Um, and they were just rays of sunshine um, within, within you know, various resistance movements in, in Brooklyn and in New York City. And so she began following them uh, around the midterms of 2018. And then more chapters started bubbling up across the country, which was really exciting and inspiring. And she realized, oh, this isn't going to be a small thing. This is going <laughs> to, it's going to bubble over. So at that point, um, toward the end of 2018, that's when I got on board and Susan had already been following them for a year. Excellent, excellent. We'd love to get questions from you. I can always ask more, but I'd rather have you do so. So throw up a hand if you have a question and I will call on you. Come on, join in. Yes. It's a good question. There's more popping up uh, every month, it seems. I know there's at least seven in the States. Now there's one in Canada and one in Australia as well, with more uh, joining every day. I think the one I'm most excited about is uh, there's one in South Dakota, I believe. Um, and it's just really exciting to see them popping up all over. Who's next? I'll ask you one uh, while we wait for them to build up their courage. <laughs> Um, challenges. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, for sure. So we, uh, the fir the earliest footage is from 2018, and then the 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 last thing we shot, I think, was. Um, maybe October, November of, t of 2020. And so, yeah, we, we were, throughout COVID, um, obviously a majority of 2020, we weren't filming because they weren't out in the street um, or rehearsing in person. Um, you know, it was difficult. I think every, every film that got made in the past year and a half is, or two years now, <laughs> uh, had to come up with that struggle. Uh, they, they did, like many of us, they, they did choir practices on Zoom. We chose it wasn't really uh, beautiful to, to see that, so we decided not to put it in the film. But uh, you know, once June rolled around in New York City and across the country in reaction to the murder of George Floyd, they were out in the streets, you know, N95 masks being as safe as they can, but they just, like many of us, couldn't stay away, and so we followed them. Anybody else out here for now? Another one for you. Um, things that got left behind. We know they always, shorts always have to get edited down tight and a lot of things get left behind. What's something you know as a producer that got left behind that, that you miss? Yeah, it was tricky because, I mean, we had these four choruses across the country and we were all based in New York, so we were following New York the most, but um, San Diego has such a fascinating story. They have their own little permaculture farm that we, we showed images of, but like it's, it's really a sustaining uh, group that we could have stayed with them for you know, weeks on end and you know, played with their chickens and all of that, which <laughs> I was sad to see didn't make it in, um, but, but that was great. And then also, I mean, just leading up to the 2020 election, that could have been 20 minutes on its own, but you know, alas. <laughs> yes.
Yeah, well, thank you for sharing. I, it was incredibly healing for me. Um, as someone who isn't a singer, I, I sang in high school, but I'm not a singer, but I'm, I'm a big fan. And, um, you know, a quote that we repeat multiple times throughout the film is, joy is an act of resistance. Um, and for me, it, it was really healing to be a part of a film and, you know, observing and capturing this movement that um, acknowledged, yes, we are outraged, we, are, we feel helpless, but we are going to choose joy in this moment. And that is an act of resistance. And so, yeah, for me, it, it, it just, it gave me a sense of tertiary belonging, even though I'm not cool enough to be a part of the choir. <laughs> Um, it felt really, you know, incredible just to, to be in the presence of that sisterhood. Got a question over here? Yes. I don't believe that there is a chapter in Cleveland, but um, the Resistance Revival Chorus's website has a whole starter kit. So if anyone wants to uh, create their own chapter uh, in Cleveland, they, they offer a ton of resources for how to jumpstart that. Future projects. Uh, so I actually co-produced a documentary uh, with HBO that came out a few months ago um, called Adrian, which is about uh, an incredible filmmaker. Her name was Adrian Shelley. She was really pushing the boundaries of what uh, female filmmakers were doing, and she unfortunately, her life was cut short. Um, and that's currently streaming on HBO. Uh, and got some stuff in the works, but you know, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing uh, far enough along that would make sense to talk about yet. <laughs> yes. Uh, good question. I, I think for me, I, I choose the people that I want to work with. So I'm, I'm a producer, and I, I really, for me, it's just as much about the story as it is about the director that I'm working with, because that's, that's really the person that I'm going to be in, you know, with for a year, two years, three years sometimes. So for me, it's, it's the, the mixture of finding that, that person that has a really strong vision um, and a, just a, a strong connection to the material. I know you've done other things and that you'll be doing more things, so <laughs> where could they follow and find out other things you've done? Uh, sure. Um, so uh, in 2016, I had to delete Twitter because I just, I couldn't look at it. And But I just recently re-downloaded it. I have like 22 followers, so you know, really just <laughs> killing it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm at Jillian A. Gold uh, on Twitter, and then um, JillianAGoldstein.com for my official website. <laughs> Which there's lots of good stuff there, so check it out. Yes. That's a long question. I'm going to answer it quickly, though. I always knew I wanted to do this from an extremely young age, but I didn't think it was for me. So I didn't study film in college. I didn't, my high school even had like a film thing, and I didn't do that. Um, I think I, I don't know if I thought it was like just like only like dudes did it. I like, I don't know, but like there was just something that like stopped me and I didn't think it was for me. Um, and then cut to uh, right after college and I was just feeling this pull. I didn't know how to get into it and uh, wound up working on some film sets because frankly, I just needed money um, and uh, said, you know what, no, I, I want to make a documentary and, and I need to figure out how to do this. And I just talked to everyone and anyone I could until someone let me uh, transcribe interviews for free um, at 22 years old. And I was like, I'll stay up all night, I'll do it, I'll do it. Um, and then as soon as I, I watched like the first raw footage, I was like hooked and there was no turning back. We could do one more question if anybody has one. Yes. How big of a project have you been involved in this one time? Uh, like three-ish. Yeah. <laughs> As you all know, I believe you all agree with me. It's our visiting filmmakers that make the festival special. So please join me in thanking Jillian for being with us. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you all for staying for our Q&A. Remember to vote on your ballots on the way out. And we hope to see you at more shorts programs throughout the festival. Have a great festival day. Thank you so much. Yeah. This was really lovely. Yeah. This is my first big one, so I mean, thank you. It was a very welcoming crowd. Yes. I'm 
so glad. I'm so glad. Uh, well, I'm sure we've seen you around the yeah. festival. Are you gonna, yeah. How long are you going to stay with us? Uh, till like Monday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. 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 There's um. Some, something started this morning. There's something going on every night. Yeah. So, uh, I'll and be I typically go to them so that I can hang out with all my guests. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I have. I even had Reese okay. come in to make sure we got oh, some rehearsal. Okay. I'm so happy yeah. when I saw you go. We're covered. Oh wow. with me for today. One day, one day down. Yep. So I just need a photographer and a videographer there, but you guys I, I still got some video 